All right, guys, we are going to build a sling type saddle. Uh, this is one I made about two years ago. It's basically an Anderson sling with a uh, with a uh, Molly loop, some Lyman's loop, a belt, um, which is kind of uh, uh, a very primitive version of the ESS or the Recon or the Raptor that the guys did over on SaddleHunter.com. But on this build, we're going to kind of show the progression of the Anderson sling all the way up to the latitude. Uh, the final saddle that I'm building is going to be uh, kind of latitude-ish with some additions and some different variations. Um, the latitude does not use D-rings. It uses your standard one-inch tubular uh, webbing over the two-inch chassis webbing. I think. I haven't ever held one. That's what it looks like to me, but I'm not sure. So we'll go from from uh, the, the beginning all the way up to the uh, latitude, which from what I'm seeing looks like is kind of the the prime version of a sling type saddle. Um, so, but first I wanted to talk about the different variations of the chassis of a sling type saddle. So I just got some example webbing here. Um, and I call them, uh, I call them parallel and series. Uh, styles so your parallel style is where you have two individual panels that are tied in on the sides with a d-ring or some sort of a bridge loop and that's the one I prefer and I'll talk about why that is in a little while uh, basically they're both uh, um, equal sized panels that are tied in on the sides and that is the uh, parallel version and then you have a couple different versions of a series. So one of the series is where the saddles actually over the loops actually overlap and then they're connected here which gives you your top panel and your bottom panel. And then you have a third version I think that I'm seeing if I'm and like I said I haven't held these commercial saddles but so there's a lot of guesswork that's done here. A different version is you have a smaller loop inside of a larger loop, something like that, and you have your either D rings or um, some other type of uh, way of making your bridge loops. But uh, I like D rings, so that's kind of what I'm looking at. So that's a different version. So you basically have three configurations for the chassis for the saddle. Like I said, I'm going with the two. Uh, with the parallel saddle where you have two separate panels so the parts list for that is two 78 inch pieces of webbing and four 12 inch pieces of webbing uh, each of your 78 inch pieces of webbing are going to have six inches of overlap to make each panel and then for the 12 inches, those are your connectors that overlap 3 inches on each side to give you your separators for your, uh, your yeah, separators for each panel. And those are going to be, uh, just depending on the panel we'll talk about, but those get spaced out evenly on each panel. Um, yeah, and that is basically all you need for the Anderson sling type style, type saddle is two inch webbing and some d-rings so again 78 inches on both pieces i go with two different colors my black one is my bottom the gray is my top and then i use black on gray and then gray on black uh just kind of keeps things from being confusing because then i know that my gray main panel is my top and my black is my bottom because when you get this thing and you got it all together and you're holding it up it can be confusing to a knucklehead like me so if you decide to follow along as I progress and like I said I'm going to stop at the Anderson sling um, show you guys what that's all about and then we're going to move on to uh, adding accessories and we'll talk about where we stop at for the recon or for the ESS or for the Raptor and then finally I'm going to move on to the uh, uh, to my final build which is going to be kind of like a latitude but a little bit different latitude like I said doesn't use D-rings so I'm going to use D-rings so to continue on with the build if you decide to, like I said, you've got a perfectly functional saddle right here with the with the uh, Anderson saw. But to move on, and you want to add D rings and Wally loops, 
you're going to need uh, probably about a 60 inch piece of tubular webbing and that's going to give you your six inch overlap on either side um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and tuck it inside another eight inch piece of tubular webbing same tubular webbing sew that up to stiffen it and I'll put some uh, large um, zip ties in there to kind of give it rigidity so about a 60 inch piece of that uh, if you want to put a belt in a leg loops I use the same material for both for me they're not load bearing I don't I, I just use them to hold it up while I'm moving moving through the woods so you're gonna need some uh, one inch uh, fairly light webbing which I've got here you're gonna need a belt buckle I like the I like this is a Raptor I like the Raptors um, and this one's off color just because it's a little easier to see the black one's a little harder to see um, G hooks for your uh, for your leg loops if you decide to put them on and depending on what size or what kind of uh, bridge you're going to use I'm gonna use a, a webbing bridge I'll be using the same webbing for my bridge the black tubular and I'm using an Austria Alpine buckle um, each end of my so my, my bridge will be able to open up and each side is going to have a loop so it can be girth hitched to the D-ring and we'll I'll show you that as we're building it uh, and then you move into the latitude type so that's pretty much everything you're going to need to build your Raptor style, style saddle your ESS style saddle or the recon uh, moving on to get into the uh, latitude you're going to need some kind of material to fill your panels I'm using a black mesh it's a very it's stiff it's the stiffest of the meshes so I'm using black mesh you need about a third of a yard of that lengthwise a yard um, and I'm going to be so that's going to make my fill for the panels I'm also adding inside pockets on the inside of the bottom panel to kind of give you an idea so basically right in here I'm going to have an inside pocket that has a pad uh, foam filler that you can put in or take out to kind of alleviate any hip pinch or to relieve any hip pinch if you get it and then I'm going to have outside panels that go along the the bottom so that when you have the bottom panel underneath you those saddle those pockets are uh, uprighted so you can just reach down in beside you pull out whatever you want to do um, those are going to be completely fixed to the saddle they're not going to be removable they're going to be permanent uh, permanent pockets and I'm making that just out of some camouflage material that I found at uh, Joanne's so that's your part list oh if you're going to put a filler material you're going to need some sort of a uh, some sort of a gross grain so I'm using a, to, to put an edge around your uh, filler material uh, for the mesh. So I'm using a black gross grain to kind of keep the colors the same. So that's what you need to build it. Um, and we're going to get into building it on the next video. I'm going to keep these short. I went long on the last ones. So uh, on the black saddle build. So I'll keep these short and that's your part list. I'm going to add uh, links to everything on the description below the video.